What's up guys, JB Tech here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a clean install of Mac OS X Lion. So to begin, we will simply have to go ahead and have Lion on our computer, and right here, this is what you'll need, the install Mac OS X 10 or OS 10 Lion, and then what you got to do is go ahead and right click on there, go to the show package contents, click on the contents folder, and then go to shared support folder, go ahead and open that up and this is the file we will need install esd.dmg so you can easily just drag that to the desktop so you can use that for later because we will need that so we will need to have a flash drive or a external hard drive that's either 8 gigs or more because Lion does require you to have 4 gigs of space or more to store it on there so to be on the safe side we will just need at least 8 gigs what we have to do first is go ahead and go to your applications and then we'll go down to utilities and then go to disk utility and this is where we're gonna actually mount the DMG file of Mac OS X Lion onto a external hard drive or a flash drive so as you see here's my hard drive right here and then I also have a time machine which is a 3 terabyte along with some hard drive space there I have partitioned it to a two partitions and then this is what I'm gonna be mounting in my DMG file onto so this is the 320 gig Western Digital hard drive, which is my external portable hard drive. And then simply we'll have to partition into two if you're doing this on an external hard drive. If you're doing it on USB drive, just go ahead and ignore this couple of next seconds. Because on this hard drive, we will need to partition it to two. And we're just basically going to be doing this. This is going to be my whole external hard drive. So partitioning it basically is cutting in half or however many partitions you want to do but in this case I'm just doing two so my second partition is what I'm gonna mount my DMG file onto so we can just name this uh, install Mac so we'll just go ahead and install Mac OS 10 Lion and then have it checked where it says Mac OS extended journaled and then on the size I'm just gonna do about 15 so go ahead and hit apply down here at the bottom right and then it's just basically telling me that it's gonna partition it and cut into two basically go ahead and hit partition alright guys so now it has partitioned as you can tell here it does have install Mac OS 10 lion along with right here it is partitioned into two parts now so now what we got to do is double click on install esd.dmg file on your desktop and then we can close this out and then as you see down here we do get the install esd.dmg along with this and we'll go ahead and click on this part down here under the dmg file and click on restore and then now we'll click and drag the part you partitioned which is going to be my install mac os 10 lion into our destination section down here so this will install into here and then now we're going to hit restore so hit erase and now we'll type in our password and now it's going to copy as you can tell down here it does say capacity 4.23 gigabytes so the good thing is we have at least eight Alright guys, so now it has been mounted onto my Mac OS X install flash drive or hard drive. And we'll simply click on that. And once you do click on that, we do see that we have installed Mac OS X Lion and all of that on here. So we can simply close this out because we are done with that. And now we will be ready to do our clean install. But before, do make sure you have all your things backed up, your documents, music, everything you want to have back once you do a clean install because we will be doing a fresh install meaning it will erase your whole hard drive and everything. Another thing that may or may not be important to you guys is in iTunes the authorizations of computers. If we go up here to store and then go to authorize this computer real quick, I'm just showing you all because I have recently just deauthorized this and I cannot type in my password. There it goes so it has been authorized right now and it says computer authorization was successful you have authorized two computers out of five available or out of out of your available five so this means if you have already 
five out of five in authorized computers then once we do a fresh install now and then once we do boot it back up and we open up iTunes and then we try to authorize this computer which is gonna be the same one with your same account it's not gonna allow you to authorize it because you already are at your limit so what you gotta do is deauthorize it first so you won't it won't count against the limit of your authorizations so I'll go ahead and deauthorize this now basically now it, I have one out of five instead of two out of five because I just deauthorized this computer so that was a problem I ran into whenever I did my last install and then they only allow you to do a whole you can deauthorize all your computers at once one time a year and that's about it so if you're at your five computers limit authorization then you can deauthorize it once but if you have already used up your deauthorize all option then you have to wait a whole year so that sucks anyways let's go ahead and get started with the fresh install guys our next step we'll have to actually shut off our computer or you can restart it but in mine we're gonna just go ahead and shut it off and then we're gonna have to turn it back on and then we'll also have to hold down the alt slash option key whenever you hear that little buzzing sound so go ahead and turn it on and then we'll hold down the alt slash option key until we do get a screen that pops up as you see here so here you do see all your hard drives and everything that's connected as drives and we do have to select the one that we made into a partition or we did mount the OSX line onto so this is what I mounted it onto so go ahead and select that you will now come up with a screen that says Mac OS 10 utilities and the first option that we have is restore from time machine so there's gonna be all the files that you want to restore from your time machine or if you just want to go to a point in your time machine the next one is to reinstall Mac OS 10 which we will not do yet we would come to that later what we have to do is click on disk utility and then click on continue and then here this is where we're gonna actually format and wipe everything from our hard drive so we do get the disk utility window like we had earlier and this is where we will select our hard drive of our computer so go ahead and select the hard drive and then we will click on the option that says erase and once we do select that we'll have to make sure in the format we will have to make that Mac OS extended journaled so be sure that it's selected and then on the name we'll simply just name it um, I mean MacBook HD I'm just gonna leave it the same you can name it whatever you want but I'll leave it at MacBook HD and then we'll simply have to just click on erase and this will erase everything from your hard drive go ahead and click on erase again and then like I said this will format and erase everything from your hard drive so it's gonna be a clean fresh new hard drive with nothing on it we will now go ahead and close out the window here and then we'll go back to this window and what we have to do is click on reinstall Mac OS 10 now so go ahead and click on that and hit continue and then we'll come up with the lion picture and everything here so we'll have to go ahead and hit on continue down there at the bottom and now we'll hit agree and then agree again and then now we will select the hard drive we will actually place this on which is gonna be the hard drive that's inside of your MacBook or whatever iMac whatever you're doing this on we'll simply scroll down and then we'll find it and then we'll see that it is down here MacBook HD go ahead and click on install and this next process will take a while so I'm gonna fast forward it and play some music y'all may like
Alright guys, so now we do get the install succeeded screen, which is always a good thing. So simply just hit on the restart button and then your computer will restart itself and you will be prompted then with the welcome screen. So then you'll be able to set up your fresh new install of Mac OS 10 Lion and you're ready to go guys. So that's it for this video guys. If you liked this video or if it was helpful in any sort of way, go ahead and hit that little like button on the bottom left. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or anything like that, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button up top. It is free and you'll be notified whenever I do come out with my latest tutorial like this or also any other kind of videos. I do do tech videos, news, and also gel breaks if you're into iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, and also Cydia tweaks and all of that good stuff, app reviews and theme reviews and everything techy or Apple related. So go ahead and check out my channel if you're interested. And thanks for watching, and I will catch y'all on the next one. Peace.